section in the Philadelphia Inquirer today. It had a special offer for a free virtual Phillies rally towel. With the offer came a strange looking box. This is it right there. I didn't know what it was either, but here's how it works. That box is actually a barcode. It's known as a QR code. Smartphone users can access the information by downloading free barcode scanning applications. They then scan the code. The app automatically links the user's phone to the information. In this case, the rally towel. The city of Philadelphia is also using QR codes on tourist maps. Visitors can scan the codes for more information about each site they visit. This technology is being used by television shows like Glee and even bars and restaurants here in the city. So how does this really benefit consumers and will QR codes catch on? Matt Schaefer is the co-founder of Mashin.net. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. This sounds like a lot of fun. I have to admit it took me about three explanations from my producer, Megan, to really understand this. So go over with me one more time. Simplify it for me. Yeah, so a QR code is a lot like a code at a grocery store. Um, the difference is these can also store links to websites or coupons like you saw on the ad. Um, you can use them for, you see them a lot recently on promotional advertising, um, coupons at stores, specials at restaurants. Um, I even keep one on my business card. You can, you can see them on menus or posters all around town. It's popular in Japan. We're just catching on here. Yeah, they've been around for about five years in Japan now. Um, and you see them all over the place. You see them at train stations, on menus at restaurants, uh, to advertise specials, that kind of thing. Who's going to use this the most? Do you think the younger consumers or are all of us going to be into this? Well, I think it depends a lot on the smartphones because that's where it is right now. Um, so the smartphone user market is really going to be the, the market to benefit from this. Um, in Japan, most cell phones can scan QR codes, so I think eventually as it becomes more popular, um, pretty much any cell phone user can use it. Is it really going to become more popular and more popular and more popular, or do you think at some point it might fizzle out as such a fad? Well, if Japan's any example, um, it's been a good going strong uh, trend for at least five years now. So I think we're going to see it a lot more in the U.S. as well. All right, I understand how it works on, on posters or menus and flyers. I'm a little confused about TV commercials because I know that you can, if you hold your phone up, but you have to actually know when the commercial's coming up, and can you, can you do it that quickly? Yeah, you have to see this code on the screen. Um, sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to see this code on the screen, so you do have to wait for it to come up and then hold your cell phone up and get the code in the center. And it usually takes three to five seconds to scan the code. What I love about this, Matt, is that you can get coupons and discounts, and that's really going to be the benefit for consumers, especially in this type of economy, besides the fact that it's convenient. You don't have to run to a computer and put information in. Yep, exactly. All right, Matt Schaefer, we appreciate you so much for coming in. I know it's kind of a little complicated, but I finally got it. All right, and thanks I'm very much. And I'm excited about it. All right. While